Hola amigos, Dr. Labruna Key. Today, we're gonna to take a look at lesson two in my six part series to help you be successful on the Spanish World Language Praxis exam number 5195. In lesson two, we're gonna take a look at reading, listening, and culture, which also can be known as the interpretive communication section, and there's also selected responses or multiple choice. Let's just select from. This section makes up 64% of your exam score. There's gonna be 75 selected responses or multiple choice questions, and it's gonna take 110 minutes to complete. There's gonna be five to six texts with 30 questions. That's 26% of your overall score. There's gonna be five to six listening sections with 30 questions. That's gonna make up 26% of your score. And then the cultural questions are gonna be incorporated into the text and into the audio. There's gonna be 15 questions about those and that's gonna make up 12% of your score. So let's take a look at a few ways on how we can practice culture and reading and listening in this video. And my helpful hint for today is when you come to the multiple choice section, before you do a reading, my tip is to read the questions first, preview the questions first, that way you know what you're looking for, then read the authentic article and then go back and answer the questions. And notice that I put authentic article here. This is what they're gonna be using in the test is authentic articles. And that's also where you're gonna get cultural information from is the more authentic material that you read and listen to and see and practice with, the more your cultural knowledge is gonna increase. All right, here we've got five ways on how you can practice your reading skills. The first one's a website called nationalspanishexam.org. I'm gonna put a link down in the comment section below where you can just um, click on that link and go to it. But anyways, if you didn't have that link, you click on exam preparation, past exams, and then there's a reading and there's a listening portion where you can practice both. And there's some multiple choice questions where you can practice. And the cool thing is there's different levels ranging from levels one to six. So hopefully if you're practicing to become a Spanish teacher, you're working at levels five or six to get ready for that. And there's also cultural information incorporated into that. So with all these elements, um, they're also helping to practice culture. There's not really one way that you can just practice culture, but the way that you practice culture is by uh, immersing yourself in the culture with these authentic, with these authentic items. So number two, check out Spanish books. Maybe there's some at your school library or some at your public library and you can read them if there's an English version and uh, check out the Spanish version, um, but it's best if you're taking a look at authentic material that comes from the Spanish culture. Um, number three could be children's books. So this could be a way to look at culture. Also, there could be some pictures that reinforce the words and there could even be new words that you're learning. Um, number four, a lot of magazines are ways that you can practice. If you read magazines, they've got pictures also and go along with different topics. Along with this, you could take a look at advertisements. They've got kind of some neat slogans, can be cultural elements there. And uh, I just think magazines are a good way to practice your reading. Also, number five, newspapers. Um, take a look at some online newspapers like El País, Nación, CR Hoy. And as you go through these, you wanna find vocab that you're learning. And then also answer the questions, quién, qué, cuándo, por qué, cómo, and kind of summarize what is the article about. And again, tons of cultural information if you're reading newspaper articles from the target culture. My helpful hint for today is, as you're practicing, create a list of words that are new to you and then write them down and then study them. So reading comprehension is about 90% vocabulary knowledge. In lesson number five, I'm gonna give you a list of 50 words that I think you're gonna find helpful for the test, but it's also good if you make your own list as well and study it. And then also in lesson five, I'm gonna give you a Quizlet where you can practice these words and you could even do the same thing with your list, create a Quizlet and practice them. All right, let's take a look at some ways to practice listening. So this other cool site is called SpanishListening.org. And what I like to do for this one is select the country and then you can pick different topics and different levels. And what I like to do is pick people 
to listen to. They answer a question for about 30 seconds to a minute on different themes. Again, it's, um, culture is incorporated there. But I like to people, pick people from maybe Spain or Argentina or Cuba or maybe some accents that I'm not as familiar with to practice that because on the test, you're going to hear from accents from all over the Spanish-speaking world. All right, Spanish music, another great way to practice your listening skills and also learn about some cultural elements. Uh, movies in Spanish. Um, it's best if you can pick movies from the target culture. Um, see so if you can immerse yourself. You can travel different places and practice or even here in the U.S. Uh, maybe go to a restaurant where people will practice with you or a church service or any place where people will practice speaking Spanish with you. Uh, you could check out maybe a Cinco de Mayo festival. Um, lots of different cultural elements that you could check out there as well. Um, news and weather. Those are also some great ways to practice. You can find links to these on YouTube. And news and weather, they typically talk pretty fast because they've got a lot of information that they want to get out to you in a short amount of time. But that's good to practice people speak, listening to people speaking at a rapid rate. So those are some ways that you can practice listening. My helpful hint here is to take notes of what you hear during the listening section and then refer back to your notes to answer the questions. So if you don't take down any notes, you'd better have a pretty good memory to go back and answer questions about what you just heard. So it's best to just jot down notes. You can refer back to your notes and that's gonna help you be successful on the listening portion of the test. All right, so that was lesson two, interpretive communication. Up next, stay tuned for the writing section, the speaking section, essential vocabulary, and exam tips to help you be successful on the Spanish Praxis exam number 5195. All right, gracias por mirar. This has been Learning Spanish with Dr. L. Click that subscribe button. It's going to give you free access to all my videos. Y buena suerte en el examen de AP. Ciao.